Welcome back, everyone, all of you. <laughs> Let's get started. Welcome to week seven. We are on lesson 99 today. I'm going to say two things about something you know. See if you can figure out what I'm talking about. A ketting is a place. You can play in the sand and swim in the water at a ketting. Everybody, tell me what you know about a ketting. Get ready. Yes, a ketting is a place you can play in the sand and swim in the water at a ketting. Everybody, tell me what a ketting is. Get ready. Yes, a beach. Here's another one. A prast is a person. A prast makes things out of wood. Everybody, tell me what you know about a prast. Get ready. Yes, a prast is a person. A prast makes things out of wood. Everybody, tell me what a prast is. Get ready. Yes, a carpenter. Give yourself some student points. There was a boy who felt very healthy. Say that. Get ready. Yes, there was a boy who felt very healthy. Now say that statement using a synonym for healthy. Get ready. Yes, there was a boy who felt very well. He liked to run quickly. Say that. Get ready. Yes, he liked to run quickly. Now say that statement using a synonym for quickly. Get ready. Yes, he liked to run very fast, but his yard was too little for him to run in. Say that. Get ready. Yes, but his yard was too little for him to run in. Now say that statement using a synonym for little. Get ready. Yes, but his yard was too small for him to run in. Great job. Give yourself some more student points. Here are some more calendar facts. Some months have 30 days. Some months have 31 days. Most months have 31 days. How many days do most months have? Get ready. Yes, 31. But the month of February usually has only 28 days. What month has only 28 days? Get ready. Yes, February. Everybody, how many days are there in a year? Get ready. Yes, 365. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, 
Yes, there are 365 days in a year. Everybody, how many days are in a week? You ready? Yes, seven. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, there are seven days in a week. Everybody name the seven days of the week. Get ready. Yes, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How many months are in a year? Get ready. Yes, 12. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, there are 12 months in a year. Name the months of the year. Get ready. Yes, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. How many weeks are in a year? Get ready. Yes, 52. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, there are 52 weeks in a year. How many seasons are in a year? Get ready. Yes, four. Say the seasons of the year. Get ready. Yes, winter, spring, Summer, fall. How many days does February have? Get ready. Yes, 28. Give yourself a big round of applause because that was hard. Yay! We're going to make up an analogy. Everybody, tell me what class a skyscraper and a barn are in. Get ready. Yes, buildings. We're going to make up an analogy that tells where you find each building. What's the analogy going to tell? Get ready. Yes, where you find each building. Tell me where you find a skyscraper. Get ready. Yes, in a city. You find a skyscraper in a city. Tell me where you find a barn. Get ready. Yes, on a farm. You find a barn on a farm. Everybody say the analogy about where you find a skyscraper and a barn. Get ready. Yes, a skyscraper is to a city as a barn is to a farm. What does our analogy tell about each building? Get ready. 
Yes, where you find it. Everybody say our analogy one more time. Get ready. A skyscraper is to a city as a barn is to a farm. Great job. Here's some more student points and a virtual high five. Boom. I'm going to tell a story. When you hear a word you don't know, say stop. The teacher was agitated. Everybody, what word don't you know? Get ready. Yes, agitated. Ask the question about what the word agitated means. Get ready. Yes, what does the word agitated mean? I'll tell you what agitated means. Agitated is a synonym for upset. What is agitated a synonym for? Get ready. Yes, upset. If a teacher was agitated, she was, get ready. Yes, upset. Here's more of the story. The class was clamorous. Everybody, what word don't you know? Get ready. Yes, clamorous. Ask the question about what the word clamorous means. Get ready. Yes, what does the word clamorous mean? I'll tell you what clamorous means. Clamorous is a synonym for noisy. What is clamorous a synonym for? Get ready. Yes, noisy. If the teacher was agitated because the class was clamorous, she was upset because the class was, get ready. Yes, noisy. Here's more of the story. She told them to stay mute. Everybody, what word don't you know? Get ready. Yes, mute. Ask the question about what the word mute means. Get ready. Yes, what does mute mean? I'll tell you what mute means. Mute is a synonym for silent. What is mute a synonym for? Get ready. Yes. Silent. The teacher was agitated because the class was clamorous. She told them to stay mute. Do you think they did? That's the end of the story. Listen to this story. Last week, a leaf was lying on the grass. The wind blew the leaf onto the sidewalk. Yesterday, a girl stepped on the leaf. Listen again. Last week, a leaf was lying on the grass. The wind blew the leaf onto the sidewalk. Yesterday, a girl stepped on the leaf. Tell when the leaf was lying on the grass. Get ready. Yes, last week. Tell why the leaf blew away. Get ready. Yes, the wind blew it. Tell where the leaf landed. Get ready. Yes, on the sidewalk. 
tell who stepped on the leaf. Get ready. Yes, a girl. Tell when the girl stepped on the leaf. Get ready. Yes, yesterday. Okay, friends, we should be on this worksheet right here. Make sure that your name is on it. You're going to write sentences that do not rhyme. Touch the picture of the girl and the boy. Get ready. The picture shows what the girl will do and what the boy will do. What will the girl do? Get ready. Yes, run. What will the boy do? Get ready. Swim. Say the sentence for what the girl will do. Get ready. Yes, the girl will run. Say the sentence for what the boy will do. Get ready. Yes, the boy will swim. The word box shows how to spell the word swim. You can figure out how to spell the other words. Write the sentence for what the girl will do. Now go to the next line and write the sentence for what the boy will do. And after you have finished your sentences, you have also finished another lesson in your distance learning program. Yay! I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.